Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a while, it's been quite a while. It's been a month since I've uploaded my last vlog. And I've just been a little little busy. No excuses though. Uh, so yeah, it's been a while. Although today is gonna be fantastic. Well actually tonight is gonna be fantastic because it's six in the evening. And I am doing something really, really interesting. I'm actually going on a haunted tour. Yes, you got that right. I just found it out last week, and uh, and if you guys don't know, I'm quite a big horror fan. So they take you on a 75-minute uh, walk to tell you a whole lot of creepy stories and the history around the place. So the place I'm going to is uh, the Black Creek Pioneer Village. It's a fair bit away from where I am, but it's gonna be fun. Um, the only catch here is I can't record while they're actually telling the stories, but I can show you the place. And once they let me record, I can actually tell you the history around the place. Stick around, it is gonna be fun. It's gonna take a while for me to get there. It is right on the other side of the city. I need to be there by 8.30. That's when the tour starts. And it's like I said, it's a 75 minute tour. I don't really know what to expect. Other than the fact it's really gonna be fun, I guess. I mean, it's not gonna be that scary. Because uh, my uh, I don't really get scared really easily. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I've never done something like this before. I'm sure you guys haven't seen it before as well. If you have, comment in the section below and tell me what was your experience. It's a paid tour. I paid about $33 for this. And surely they don't want people to start recording and uploading it on YouTube and they're gonna lose their novelty or the entire experience. So I, I kinda get that. I'm not gonna record when they actually tell the stories, but I'm trying my best to uh, paraphrase it. I think I've arrived at the destination I need to go to. And the tour is that at the Black Creek Pioneer Village. That is where my tour starts. And that seems to be the entrance. So I'm gonna head down there and talk to the people. So hopefully there'll be someone to help me. Let's see. Right. There's no one at the reception right there. Um I'm at the right place. They said they are gonna set everything up here. So we'll probably leave from here to wherever we need to. Maybe down that way. Although, they have a bunch of activities here. You can do archery. There's knife throwing. Axe throwing. Now see, now this is something which I uh, have seen a lot in Toronto. A lot of people do axe throwing. Might want to try that out sometime. Although, I'm here for that. The haunted walk. That is what I'm here for. And... Oh, they are setting everything up, so... Hey guys! Hi. Hey! Um... Might take a while. 8:30 is when we leave. It's 8 p.m. And as you can see, there is still daylight. The sun sets here around 9. We're gonna go into this building right there. And I'm not sure how much light I'm gonna get, but it is pretty spooky. We're in the house right now, so that sounds. This is the house where the strong family apparently moved in. And as she said it's kinda haunted with everything. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't wanna be left behind. Let's see. Is it's probably that's that's the bed. Okay. Right. Right. I'm gonna go down, right? And what the group's right there. Okay, the group's right there. But I'm gonna go around, go down, and see. If I can find something. Oh, that's just the creaking from top so don't worry 
yeah that's just the creaking because the guy's on top and uh, yeah now this is where we started from that's the it's one of the bedrooms that they have and but that is the dining table I'm sure that that's where they had their dinner the strong family now look the idea is well not the idea the tour guide said Michael was the son who died here yeah. so I mean right thanks That's the bed, Michael. That he was 17 years old, apparently, when he passed away. And uh, I'm really tempted to go here, but they said don't, so I'm not gonna go there. And as you can see, this is chained, so you aren't allowed to go any further. Oh, this is chained. Well, I would like to believe there's there aren't any ghosts, but again, I'm really tempted to go here. Really, really tempted. But uh, I'm gonna decide against that. Look, the Stock family lived there a very, very long time back. So. Okay, and that's the same room. This is probably a guest room or some, of some kind, to be honest. I'm gonna wash my step. Right, we are done with this house. And I'm gonna close the door. Oh, uh, that's the house we were just at. The Strong family initially were in this house. This is a small house, but as they, um, the family grew, they moved into a bigger house, which is what you saw. You walked into the second house now? I think that's the house we're gonna go to. It's the. Um, so there's a oh. ballroom. Uh, Wait. Legend has it. This is the home of a gentleman called Matthew. Now, he had a wife, and then he had an affair with someone called Marianne, who seems to haunt this place, and that's what we've been told. So, Marianne is usually seen at the balcony right on top of this house. Uh, that's the um, all get strict you can't go past the chains that's the dining room that's the living room and that is oh. who's that is that whose picture is that um we're not sure uh, a lot of the pictures would be um like things that were donated by uh, other uh. Might not be originals for building. Sure. Um, so we're not sure yet. Thanks. Alright. This is no one. Okay, I'm not sure I'm allowed to open the door. Seems to be locked pretty hard. Wait, this house isn't as creepy as the other one where the Stonk family lived. Although it just has an eerie feeling to it. And it's a shame we can't go on top because we're not allowed to go on top. Yeah. Alright folks, if you can start to make your way towards the front door, that'd be great. It's downstairs. I don't think we can go downstairs. No, we can't. Now, this is the balcony that apparently Marianne shows herself. So, we're leaving the halfway house. And, well, that's where we came from. And I guess we're gonna go to that area. Alright, so, um, oh, that is another house. So, we're probably gonna go in there now. And that's the halfway house, that's the backside, and that's the backyard. 
I don't want to be left behind. So I'm gonna hurry up. Well, this entire area just have a eerie, eerie feeling to it, and that's where we are gonna gather now. But the last person closes the door. All right, so this house belongs to my clash, and he is the one who haunts this house. So he, well, these are his tools that he used to work with. No, oh yeah, they look like tools. One of my favorite things about this building is the um, absolutely terrifying scars on the wall over That's here. an actual coffin. They are really big. Yeah. That's his work. Well, these are all his tools though. That's an actual coffin. Hopefully it's empty. But, uh, These are all the saws that probably Michael Ash used. Uh, so that actually used to be a pulley system that was connected to the door um, to uh, prevent the door from staying open actually. Um, this house doesn't give me the chills as well. Um, and so now you can see the door is like and This is a fairly small house. It's not really a house, this is just a workplace. So. It broke like two years ago. Yeah. It's a pretty small <laughs> workplace. I don't feel anything. Uh, there's just a bucket here that's... Um, it is creepy. All right, everyone, if you've had a good look, we're going to start to move to our next story. All right, so that was the Dominion Garage Works. And you can see the initials right there. Mike Lash. There's where we came from. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. And, and all I can say is, it's getting a little interesting. And... Uh, it's perfect. It's really overcast. It's not dark as yet, but it's it's good. And I think that is the next. Oh, I think that is the next house that we're gonna go to. So we've looked at three houses: the strong house, the half fair house, if I can remember. Ooh, we don't go that way. So I. I thought I'm gonna I thought I'm gonna go this way, but I guess we're gonna go that way. So. It's great. Bye Michael Ash. Yes, yeah, so I have a look at this place. Groups just going along here. Again, we did come from here, we saw the halfway house, the strong house, and the workplace of Michael Ash. And now we head to a fourth place. Ooh, that's a nice color. Right over there. And let's see what this story is all about. In a while because the homes are so sure. historic and they need to renovate them. Alright, thank you. Yeah. That is the house where the Flynn family stayed. So it's Sydney Sydney Flynn and her husband Daniel. I mean we're not allowed to go inside because uh, it's under renovation apparently. Which is sad, and which is really sad. I was hoping we could visit e each of the house, but so the ghost which haunts this house is the ghost of Sydney, Sydney Flynn, and yeah, oh well, can't see Sydney tonight then. Eh? Now as it's getting darker, the trail is getting interesting. I mean, you know, it's getting scarier and scarier. Well. Someone in there? Someone's actually in there. Oh, that's the. That's someone else. Okay. Roblin's Mill. Well, sorry. Roblin's Mill. Ooh. Not sure what this is. Um, okay, I'm not allowed to go there. <laughs> So, like I said, it is getting darker and I just hope the stories get even more interesting. 